First video of the day is regarding interval notation and set builder notation. What you see in front of you is a set builder notation. It is, it is a bracket. It says the set of all x such that 2 is less than or equal to x is less than 6 for all x's that are elements of the real numbers. So it's all real numbers between 2 and 6. If I were to list it in a more traditional format, it, we'd simply say... 2 is less than or equal to x is less than 6. The assumption is it's going to be the real numbers. The reason we have a set builder notation is because I could replace this with irrationals. I could replace it with integers. I could replace it with whole numbers. And so if it were whole numbers, it would only apply to three, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, not 6 because 6 isn't included. If there were integers, it would be the same thing since there's nothing negative in here to begin with. But since we're talking reals, it's all the decimals in between. If we were to list it in interval notation, interval notation is going to use a bracket for anything where the number is equal to or included. So it's 2, comma, 6 and uses a parenthesis for anything that is not actually included. So 6 is not actually included. If we wanted to put this on a number line, all we would really need is a 2 and a 6. And because the 2 is equal to or included, we would use a solid dot. The 6 is excluded, not equal to. We're going to use an open circle and shade the middle. So set builder notation. traditional notation and we'll go what we'll go ahead and call that for our purposes and interval notation is what we'll what we go with there and of course the old traditional number line so given that um, we have a couple other pieces that we need to talk about if I have the set of all X such that X is greater than 6.2, and of course, since it's a decimal, let's keep it in the set of all real numbers. We have this. Well, if I put this on a number line, I have 6.2. It's going to be an open circle. Since x is greater than that, I'm going to shade this way. And it works out nicely. Now, obviously, we can put it in traditional notation. x is greater than 6.2. That's not a big deal. But how would you put it in interval notation? Well, that's going to require us to use the 6.2 where everything starts. And, of course, it's a parenthesis because it's not included. Comma, well, how far does it go? Well, it's going to go on forever and ever and ever. So we're going to use infinity. And anytime you use infinity, you have to use a parenthesis because you cannot get into infinity, so it cannot be enclosed. So that's greater than, so that is set builder notation, traditional notation, interval notation, number line, uh, should be fairly basic, uh, and that's what you'll be expected to use the rest of the year. Okay, you only have three little problems for this particular module, and it is to do those three problems, but for each of those three problems, I want set builder notation, traditional notation, hint, hint, I've kind of already given it to you, interval, and a number line for those three problems. Okay, pause the video, write them down, and or copy the sheet.